Good morning! Magandang umaga po! Today we're going to talk about something related to cars and that is car insurance. Uh, what kind of car insurance is required in the Philippines or is it even required? So, hang loose, stay with me and we'll get on with it. first thing we'll talk about are the types of coverages that are available to you uh, as a driver in the Philippines. Okay, We have uh, policies that will cover you for property damage or theft, uh, liability insurance which will cover you for if you are the offending party and you are required to pay for damages, it will cover you for that, and medical which covers medical expenses brought about by car accidents which may also include funeral expenses and lost wages. Uh, so you have to watch out for those and uh, read your policy, okay? The uh, different types of car insurance in the Philippines are uh, comprehensive coverage that covers damages or losses that are not caused by collision, including uh, damages caused by third parties, vandalism or theft, natural calamities, uh, or weather uh, called acts of God. Uh, the second one is uh, collision coverage, which is uh, accidents that incurred, you incur uh, because of collision with another vehicle. Uh, then there is a so-called liability coverage. If you are at fault, it applies to claim by other parties uh, and it covers both payment for car repair and medical bills or other, uh, other party. Personal injury. Protection applies to you if you get injured to help cover the medical bills. It may also include uh, protection against non-medical related damages like lost wages and rehabilitation costs. Medical coverage, it's like personal uh, injury protection, uh, but it's more focused on providing medical coverage brought about by car injury, whether caused by you or a third party. Acts of God coverage, a type of car insurance that covers and pays for car damages caused by natural catastrophes such as earthquakes, typhoons, flood, fire, explosion, falling object, stuff like that. The most popular packages are one comprehensive insurance, protection from damages not caused by collision, the third party liability uh, coverage uh, which could be up to a million dollars or pesos, uh, theft, uh, damage to own car, damages due to riots, strikes or civil commotion, uh, passenger personal accident, uh, towing service assistance uh, if you like that, ambulance service, legal assistance, 24-7 uh, assistance, including locksmith service, fuel delivery, battery jump starting, and tire replacement, all those things. Uh, stay uh, and travel coverage due to breakdown of vehicle. So if you have to stay in a hotel, you're out of town. Third, pi third party liability insurance, uh, or also known as HA, huh, compulsory third party liability insurance. This, of all these things I mentioned, this is the only liability, uh, this is the only insurance that is required for you to register your car. You have to show that there is a third party liability insurance. Uh, that's mandated by LTO. That is not optional. The, all the rest are optional. Voluntary third party liability, bodily injury to cover for injuries caused by third parties. In the Philippines, getting the, they call it CTPL, which is compulsory third-party liability, is mandatory when you register the vehicle, as I mentioned earlier. Let's look at the current rates in this particular case. So, if you want the minimum, because you cannot afford insurance, and let's say you have an old car, uh, the one-year coverage for private cars is 560 pesos per year. Okay, 560, so that's about $11 per year. Motorcycles, tricycle, trailers, 250 pesos per year. That's about $5, so it's not bad. Uh, 
Now, if, if you're operating a taxi, a public utility vehicle, and minibuses, it's $1,100. That's about $22. That's 1,100 pesos. That's about $22. Uh, light to medium uh, trucks is going to be 610 pesos or about $12. Heavy trucks and private buses, that's uh, 1,200 pesos. That's about $24. Uh, so it's not bad. It's not bad uh, for you to pay those. Uh, uh, it's it's so funny because uh, back in 1970 we, we used to have a jeepney, and my father never had insurance. So if we get into an accident, we take care of it ourselves. In fact, uh, there was one lawsuit involved when my older brother got into an accident, and we had to hire a lawyer, and a lot of money was spent on that. Spent on that. So. Uh, if you wish to go beyond the compulsory third-party liability, you may get a comprehensive car insurance package. Now, uh, obviously that's going to vary depending on the coverage you want, but let's talk about averages. For an average entry-level uh, medium-priced car, expect to pay anywhere between 12,000 to 20,000 pesos per year. So we're looking at uh, 240 to about $400 every year. So if you have a junky, old, but still running vehicle, well, just pay the minimum so you can get the registration and you're protected in case of an accident from third-party liability, okay? But as far as your car is concerned, gone. You can go ahead and total the car because it's low-priced and you cannot afford it. Okay, so you have no choice. Uh, but if you want to protect your car and you have a more expensive car, this is the way to do it. So the rates will vary depending on the model and make of your car. So expect to pay more for bigger or more expensive vehicles. Now, there are optional add-ons available like roadside assistance, legal assistance, loss of use, and so forth and so on. So make sure you read the policy. Make sure you know what you're buying. Top two insurance companies in the Philippines are Charter Ping An uh, and Malaysian Insurance Company. And these two companies are the top two in the Philippines and they obviously will, uh, will provide you with information regarding coverage also on condominium insurance, home insurance, renters insurance, and so forth and so on. So feel free to call them if you need more information and if you want more specific coverage on your that, that you particularly need okay so hope you enjoyed this please do share it with others and I will appreciate if you subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot thank you so much and make it a great day